Hey guys, two huge breaking stories going on in the world of inflation. You guys must see. It is Friday, December 17th, 2021. Before I get into those, let's recap what we saw earlier in the week. On Wednesday, the FOMC and Powell at the Fed said that they were going to end their bond purchasing program by March of 2022. That's three more months of bond purchases, and they're going to scale it down $30 billion a month. In addition, they announced next year that they would do a series of interest rate hikes from its current 0.08% to 0.9%, 11 increase, 11 fold increase from what it is right now. That's going to occur in 2022. Well, w lest you think that we were done, we're not. Inflation is raging everywhere, guys. And what's happening is people are reacting to it. The first big story came out from the Bank of England. They abruptly on Thursday raised rates from 0.1% to 0.25% two and a half times interest rate from the Bank of England. They're not waiting till 2022. They cited inflation and worries about the overheated economy as the reason they raised rates. That is a gigantic story. It's out in the Wall Street Journal. It's out in Reuters. That is big. They're one of the biggest central banks in the world. I anticipate in 2022, the European Central Bank may follow as well. I'm guesstimating that most of the central banks around the world are gonna start raising rates. What that essentially means is money's going to get tighter and it's going to slow down this world economy. That's right. It's going to slow down the world economy. They're trying to get a hold of inflation. It scares them. Runaway inflation does. And they're trying to slow it down without crashing the economy. If they're able to do that is going to be the big question. Will they be able to do it? I'm not sure if they will. I think it's central bank policy, which has led us down this path to begin with. That's the first big story. Second huge story. Turkey's stock market got halted due to inflation. 21% inflation. Uh, the value of the Turkish lira had dropped 50% this year alone. Massive problems in Turkey. What happened was the stock market started to crash yesterday. Circuit breakers took the entire major exchange down. The entire Turkish stock exchange came down because of massive inflation, massive devaluation of the currency, major issues going on in Turkey. And we see what happens when runaway inflation escapes the ability of the central planners to control, and it causes a crash in the currency. It causes a loss of confidence in markets. The stock markets begin to crash and they get halted. This is something that we'll likely see coming true as well in the U.S. markets in the future. I don't think we're quite there yet, but we're on that path. And so this is a sign of things to come. Major economic issues everywhere. Guys, if you're not aware of this, if you're not paying attention to this, it's time to start paying attention. Don't just look at your stock portfolio and all that money that they printed last year. M1 went from $4 trillion to $20 trillion in the U.S. in one year. It got to $4 trillion from 1913 to 2020. And in 2020, they, they multiplied it by five from four to 20 trillion uh, M1 currency in the United States. That is coming home to roost. It's gonna cause major inflation. And it's not only in the US, it's around the world. The whole world is in this system now. There's nobody that can bail the US out because everybody else is having their problems. The US is the worst, uh, you know, the worst currency in the, in the glue factory. It's the, it, or oh, it's the best of the worst. They're all trash. And the U.S. will be the last one to go. But when it goes, it's going to rock financial markets across the world. We're seeing it start to manifest in England with the Bank of England's decision to raise rates. And in Turkey, with a massive devaluation of their currency, over 50% this year, 21% inflation, and the halting of their stock market due to a stock market collapse. And the circuit breakers halting the entire trading on the market. These are major things, and if you're only in the stock market or you're holding bonds right now, they're gonna be devalued as interest rates rise. You may want to rethink your strategy. Of course, do your own research. Don't listen to me. I'm just a guy out here offering his opinion. I'm not your financial advisor. Do your own research. But looking at what we're looking at right now, major world events going on around the world. It's not just the United States. It's gonna get bumpy and rocky from here, guys, as the sinking Titanic of the dollar, petrodollar system you know, starts to go down. It's going to get rockier from here. Now's the time to begin looking at what we're doing. We're going to stay right on it at this channel here at Gold Silver Pros. We're going to provide you updates 
as often as possible. Stay tuned to this channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you have a blessed weekend. See you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and hit that notification button so you get those notifications when new content comes out. If you like what we're doing here, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Those members of Patreon will get extra special content delivered to them as well.